Good afternoon, everybody. No, it's not afternoon. It's morning. <laughs> Sorry. I've had a busy day already. Right. Um, yes. Oh, sorry about the weird shadow. The sun is belting through the window. And that is the um, the separator bar between the window panes. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. I'm just starting the uh, Ambrook challenge. If everybody's doing it, it's uh, 52 tags. Uh, handmade, I think. Oh, I wrote it down somewhere. There it is. Yeah. Uh, that one there 52 tags handmade um and that's what we'll be doing i mean Anne's done two inch by three inch tags i've just done my Sizzix ones so the first page is white um yeah and we will follow that hashtag so uh yeah i've just gone through my stuff um i've took the tag off the ring i don't need it for now but i don't know this is going to show up actually because that sun is so bright um I've sort of layered up. I've got this weird crochet. Let me just take it apart. This weird crocheted stuff. I, I, it was just a random pickup from, I don't know, car boot, I expect, somewhere like that. But yeah, so that's quite nice. So I'll hold it there and hopefully that will keep the sun off it. I could go and close the blind, couldn't I? That make my life a lot easier. But anyway, um, I've got a nice piece of broidery anglaise. Just a random piece. I think it's off one of my granddaughter's old dresses, actually. Um, I've got a piece of crocheted lace stuff for the side here and I've got this big flower I um, I picked up yonks ago a big tablecloth and it's all these flowers so that's gonna go there I've had this ribbon in my stash forever so it's music ribbon as you can see obviously it's white so I'm just gonna put that on there um, I'm probably going to do what Anne did and wrap wrap that round the back there. Um, yeah, so the only thing I haven't chosen is a button. I've got my vintage buttons here. I've got these ones. These are really old. Um, they came, again, I think it was a car boot pickup. I have since found them new. And these are whiter. I'm really tempted. When I'm, am I? No, because I want to put something in the middle of that flower and that fits perfectly. Those are quite large. I don't think I've got any others. Hang on, having a rummage. Ooh, oh, they're huge, aren't they? Yeah, no, it's too big. I just find these wherever I find them, really. Car boots. They're quite nice, aren't they? Although I think I really want to use one of the linen ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with one of those small ones. They're a bit, they're not quite white because they are quite old. But I think that's a good size. Right, sorted. They're held on by little bits of wire. Just need to pick that out. <laughs> oh. Right, I think that'll look okay on there, won't it? Oh, sorry, that was noisy. Right, okay. Now I've got um, cotton perlay here, which is quite nice. But I've also dug out, um, I've got some Guterman, it's, it, I think they call it button thread. It's the thicker one. It's not, co well, it's cotton, but it's a thicker one. I'm going to go and close that blind because that shadow is driving me nuts. Bear with me. Is that any better? Oh, that's better, isn't it? There we are. Yeah, so um, it's slightly thicker than cotton cotton, sewing cotton. Um, as I say, it's a button thread. Oh, now choices, choices. Let's start with the perler, and then maybe I'll stitch the um, little button here on with the uh, other cotton. If I can get that metal bit out, that'd help. Oh. I thought I'd got it then, but I haven't. Lots of people joining in with this one, so uh, it's going to be fun to see all the different... Yeah, I think we'll put that in there. What do you reckon? I think that'll be alright, won't it? The light's really bright again. I love this ring light, but it is a pain sometimes. <laughs> right, okie dokie. Let's find a nice needle. 
Uh, not one of those. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I've just been on a long dog walk with my middle daughter. Uh, no, my eldest daughter, sorry. And um, my middle one's just messaged and said, anybody fancy doing something today? Well, the sun is shining, as you can probably imagine. Um, yeah, so the sun's shining beautifully. So I said to her, let's go down the beach. I was going to have a craft day and do... Um, I've got lots to do. I've got to sort out the rest of those journals. Um, but yeah, so uh, so we're going to have a nice walk down the beach. I don't think any charity shops will be open because we've just, I think we've just gone into tier three. So I think everything's shut, but doesn't hurt having a look, does it? Right, I'm going to bore you to death and sit and sew this. I hope you don't mind. Where's my stall gone? There it is. Right, so later on today, we should be having... Uh, Martha Mananos's uh, challenge thing come up so which is the little book sorry that's a totally off subject um, where shall I start so that's all going to go off the edge so if I leave that there right let's sew these two on first I think and mm, what should I do I'll just do a quite a nice simple running stitch down there actually yeah because that's kind of like the edge of the page let me put a pin in there and i shan't lose that bit so yes it's uh well it's sunday today isn't it yeah so uh it doesn't do any good these bank holidays and stuff because i completely lose track of what day it is and everything so I think this challenge is, is more doable. I know last time when Anne did the, the big book, um, it was at the beginning of lockdown and a lot of people were furloughed. I wasn't because I was designated a key worker, so I worked all the way through. And I did struggle to keep up with it, I'll be honest with you. But um, I think this one, I think I'll be able to keep up with it. So, because, you know... I'm not going to make it too difficult on myself. Anne didn't do an awful lot of stitches. She did a bit of couching. She did a bit of running stitch and that kind of thing. And I, I don't think she wants this one to be terribly complicated. Right, I'm going to just do that because I quite like that being free there. Let me just make sure I'm on the right width still. Yeah, okay. And I'll just scoot across. Come down here. Some people have really done these really, really elaborately. And that's lovely if you've got the time. I don't. Um, what shall I do? Let me think, let me think. I might do a bit of chain stitch, actually. I quite like a bit of chain stitch. Let's do it. So yeah, as I say, it's um I think it's more doable this one. I'm hoping so anyway. I'm probably doing this all wrong, aren't I? Uh let me think. Oh, cut now that's it. Yep, got it. <laughs> Had a moment then. <laughs> right. So if I go that side and then up there again. That needle pin is far too big. Go out of the way. Um, yeah, so it's, um, I was planning to do an awful lot of crafting today, but it's, you know, the beach is calling me, guys. The beach is calling me, so let's get out while we can, eh? So I don't know if we're going to go into another full lockdown. We shall see. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, there's an awful lot of people doing this. So um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. And Martha has chosen to do square tags. I never even thought of square. I was thinking of round ones actually. I must admit, but then I thought uh, I'm probably going to make myself an awful lot of work there because uh, getting fabric to fit into a round is is harder than a square or a rectangle. So uh, I uh, opted out of that one. <laughs> 
I've got a lot I need to do, so um, should we carry on? Yeah, let's carry on. Let's go around the corner. Sorry if this is really boring, I do apologise. But sometimes it's quite therapeutic watching somebody just sit and stitch. I'm keeping in shot actually. You tend to sort of end up pulling it towards yourself and forget about the camera. <laughs> such a fiddly little piece to work on. Yeah, none of these bits, I don't think any of them are vintage. I've got vintage hankies and stuff, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut into them for this. Um, yeah, I don't know why, I just didn't, so. I got my vintage box out and I thought, no, not, not, not just for a little tag. Don't mind cutting them up for a bigger project, a journal or whatever, but. No. Let's just let that unravel itself. It's starting to twist. This is quite nice actually. I'll keep on with this pearl thread. I think it's um it's working quite well. I don't know what, what thickness was it? Oh, it's the um eight DMC. You can see that. Oh, yeah. So Last bit. Oh, stop curling. Not this, and I'll show you this. See that? Went a bit wonky there. Pfft. Oops. How did that happen? <laughs> right, so that'll go. Yeah, that'll go on there quite nicely. Right. Stretching my back sitting there. Okay, let's get some more thread. Where are you? There you are. Um, I'll make it a longer bit because I can use that to stitch. Hopefully I'm going to get through this card. I might have to get my all out to get through the card. I picked up a thick bit. It was just a scrap because, um, again, I didn't want to... I didn't want to sort of chip into a whole A4 sheet just for tags right um i think flower next i think i'm going to put that musical stuff on last and then um she's the right side that side uh yeah i am anyway right so uh oh what are you doing crazy woman right i can only stitch the bottom half of this because it's only the bottom half is on the fabric so that's fine I'm just going to do some little ditty stitches. Just at random points. I'm not worried about having it absolutely stuck on. Oop. 
I think I'll stitch the button on now. Now, do I want it that way or that way? My staining camera here. I think I'll have it this way. One more. Belts and braces. Don't know why, because it's not exactly going to be on a garment, is it? So, right, there we are. Let's just finish that one off. Yeah, pretty. Let's whack this on here and then let's decide where we want this. I think I quite like it coming off the edge. It, as I say, it might come back and bite me in the backside at some point, but I'll just get a little bit closer for you. Here comes the sun again. All right. So I really want the treble cleft to go there. So what do you think out there? probably white isn't it you can hardly see it right so let's hold that there I won't bother with a knot like I say this is uh, this is not garment sewing um, let's scoot down there just gonna catch it in a few places it should be fine Should we go? Let's go down there. I think we'll just work our way back up, I think. Kind of overdoing this really, it's just only a little bit of lightweight ribbon. Where was I going to go? Yeah. He's going on straight ish. Not that I can see straight lines. Where does it go off the page? Oh, not for a bit yet. Right. Okay.
think that'll do because it really is only just for a tag okay so Oh, that's the, uh, didn't I not, did I, naughty gal? Okay, let's tuck you under there. I might leave that sticking out. I'm not quite sure how we're going to be. I'm just trying to think now. Anne secured all of hers down, didn't she? Okay, I'll follow that rule, I think. Just the one. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if we can get through this card. If not, I'll have to get me uh, all out. Yeah, it's going through. Just need to try and catch fabric. Come on, thank you. Oh, go on, go through. Oh, got it. Okay. Don't use thick card, people. <laughs> Learn from me. Oh, that's truth. Cute. Don't know if it's going to hold there. Trying to actually get fabric. I need to come in a bit, don't I? It's not going to be very straight on the back, but that's fine. It's fine. Let's not do, be too perfectionist. I'm staying in camera, sorry, I'm so concentrating on what I'm doing here. God, that's really wonky. Right. Just come straight down, yeah. I think I will. Hopefully, that will hold all that down. Yep, that works. Okay. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, 
that's okay. Lots of textures, lots of layers. A little bit of chain stitch, running stitch. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so there it is. Apparently we've got a right on the back as well, so I'll just put my needle away. Pin in there, okay. Whew. What should we put on there? Uh, I'll put the hashtag at the top because I should run out of room because I've got quite big writing. Might help you had a pen that worked. Bear with me. Right, so it's fifty two tags. Wouldn't be mine if it didn't have a mistake on it. Handmade. Okay, so this is um, tag one. Uh, I think that's it, really. I can't remember what else she wrote on it. I'll have a look and see, but I can't remember what she wrote on there, so, but. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. So, there we are. Like that. Cool. So, where's my ring? There we are. Another quick look. There we are. Let's put it on there. Apparently, we're going to make a cover. So, um, I know Anne had written on the front of hers the hashtag and that. But, um, it's on there now. So, that's fine. I can just copy that for the next one. So, yeah. I think they're going to be quite good, aren't they? Quite pretty. So, um, there it is. That's your lot. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.